we went to uh, Budapest to uh, get a uh, sort of common ground to start off with, knowing that probably nobody had that as his natural habitat. And uh, for group dynamics, that makes a lot of sense. Everybody had to make a fresh start in a way. I went to uh, Budapest to join up on a cross-media production to uh, gather with a lot of other uh, young uh, people. And um, when we got to Budapest, it was uh, it's an art city in a lot of ways. It has this very weird ambience. You don't see a lot of kids on the street and uh, you don't see a lot of bikes. There are a lot of cars and it has this very like rough ambience. It seems a bit broken almost, you could say, but it's also it's like uh, very beautiful and has um, these old monuments and, and big buildings, which are incredibly beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's a nice city in a lot of ways, uh, but different. In Budapest, I think uh, I learned a rough and quick uh, introduction to how the animation craftsmanship actually works. That for me was a, uh, a new experience. I knew it by theory, but I hadn't really seen it uh, in practice so up close. And it was a nice uh, eye-opener for different parts of the industry. In Budapest, I was uh, there to be uh, the audio designer for um for the project and uh, at first we had to come up with a concept like a story world for our production to take place in the world and at first I was part of like the concept group but after a while I sort of slipped out of that group and um, did some, uh, some small soundscapes. In uh, Budapest I started out as a lead programmer uh, making sure that the, uh, the guys I had uh, in my team was very uh, synced and I also did some very uh, brief and uh, early pipeline design to make sure that we could work together crossing the two industries. But it was, uh, yeah, it was great and uh, something I would do again.